Hello and welcome to another IGK tutorial. This is just a little quickie one. Um, basically we're going to get look at particles and what you can do with particles. Or well, some of the things you can do with particles. You see I've, I've rammed out master code here. All I'm going to do is um, position the particles around where the mouse is. So we'll run what I've got at the moment. You see I've got a little wand um, and we've got that basic blobby particle effect at the end. Not particularly nice, but you can see you can see what's happening. Right, and that's basically I've set the resolution and stuff, set the sync. Uh, I've loaded the wand image and I've loaded the effect image. It's not actually using this image at the moment. Um, and that's another image just so I can show you something else as well later. Um, then I'm creating the particle effect for the mouse. I'm calling it mouse. Um, a pointer X and pointer Y you could use any coordinates there really doesn't matter but that's where we'll be positioning it in the actual code I'm setting the size to 8 so we can see it if I set it to 0.8 you'll see well you might not be able to see on the recording just some little blobs appearing by it it's not particularly impressive or good so we'll leave that at the big size for now, and we've got frequency, so let's set that. Now we can say, woof, we've suddenly got a bigger blob. It's got a bit of a trailer effect, it's quite cool. Particles are quite nice. I don't tend to use them much, mind, but uh, for a menu or for anything that doesn't really need super speed. Um, you can use them. You can get away with them if you're if you're um, sparing. So that's class that. So that's just changing the frequency. Now this is this is the frequency range. So if I drop that down to say ten and run that, you'll see it's a lot slower. There's there's less coming out. We don't want that, so we'll leave it to eighty. You can go higher than that, obviously, but you're going to start slowing down a bit. Now this live business uh, is how long it actually lasts for. So let's just set it to 0.5. You can see it's just a blob stuck around me again because they're not lasting very long. Close. Um, so we'll change that to 5. Now you can see, woof, they're lasting a bit longer. And you can play around with those numbers how you like looks quite nice, still a bit basic um, so we'll leave it at that for now um, now the max, we'll just show that, that basically gives you the maximum amount of um, particles that you're going to be using I've put lots of rims on a lot of these lines so you can you can read it as well uh, we'll run that oh and it's finished because that's a hundred particles done and that's basically if you just wanted puffs when you click or something like that, you know, you could set the max to 100. If you set it to 500, it'll last a little bit longer, but not much. So you can see that's a useful command, but we don't want that one at the moment because we want a sort of magic wand effect. So, okay, now this one, this is where you add the, the, the really nice stuff. Um, just quickly run it, and you can see what happens. Not a lot, nothing, in fact. And why is that? That is because I've set it to white, which is what I want. Um, this basically, the add particles color keyframe command, um, will allow you to change the color of the particles at a particular time in its life. The first one here is its life, so I'm doing it really pretty much at the start, it's setting it to white. It's white anyway at the minute, so it'll always be white to there. And then this one here, we'll add in, at one second in its life, it changes to sort of red colour and it's slightly transparent so if we run that now we're getting red with a tiny bit of white in the middle you see the white more when you move it so that's a bit more like sort of the effect we want it's still a bit rounded still a bit exact and it's it's not there yet but it's getting there so same principle we're going to add all of these in all of those in. I've gone through it all. We've got one second, one point seven seconds, two seconds, and two point two. Now, when we run it, 
Whoa, it's looking a bit more nice. It's got a little sort of magic y burst in the middle, and then the effects coming off. Not too bad, not too bad. Looks alright, that's it's getting more cool for your wand effect. Right now this is supposed to smooth the colours between, let's say. Perhaps. It's hard to tell. But I've left it in anyway. Still looks cool. Right, so I'm not entirely certain with that one. That's that's smoothing it, and zero will be without smoothing it. But because it's such a small burst, it's it's hard to say whether it's making a vast difference there. So now we what we're going to change the velocity, of the uh, speed, or well, the the potential speed. Um, I don't know which one to do first here. Let's let's just change it to a really small speed. And you see, oh, we've got a blob. We've got a sort of blob. Wibbly blob. Not brilliant. Not what we want. And that's because it's a very slow range to a very slow range. But it might be good for something. You know, it depends on the effect you want. And then we'll go from a, you know, a slow range or fairly fast range compared to these to another one, slightly faster. And that gives you a woof. That's a bit more like it, and it makes it less exactly round. If you noticed before, it sort of went, if I rem it out again, to an almost perfect sphere. This messes around with the velocity, so there's some randomness in there. Although it's faster than before, you can see it's not really perfect, it's nice and imperfect which is better looks a lot better like that whoosh my wand right okay now this is where we have the imaging and there we go look at that that's with the image I've used that looks fairly nice not bad at all it's looking way more like it still perhaps a bit much you know, we can always keep playing with the settings until you get it how, exactly how you want. Now, this is going to simulate a bit of gravity because at the moment it's just flying, no gravity at all. So let's put in using the add particles force command. Um, that's the ID, obviously, that we use all the way through. Um, that's the life it starts at. That's the life it ends at for the effect. So pretty much the end of the life there, six seconds. In fact, it's way past that. It's because that's five seconds. I've changed that to five actually. Um, and that's the x and that's the y for the uh, force that you're adding. So I'm adding fifteen to the y just to give some gravity effect. So now you can see it's spewing out, but then it's all dropping, dropping down. You can increase that, speed it up. You can make it fly in any direction, really, but uh, you know you want it to look sort of like it's dropping down. And I thought that looked about right. You know, I'll lock that up, 35. And now they're like dropping like really fast. So it all depends what sort of effect you want. But yeah, there we go, particles. Pretty nice. Um, right now, if I change this effect. From effect to effect two, we run that. You can see it's totally changed the look. That's sort of more what I was imagining when I was causing it to look. Um, it looks quite nice as well. Fireworky, if you want. But uh, it's very good for a nice wand effect like that. And you can see it doesn't take a lot to change the look. I mean, that's totally changed the look of it in one command. Well, no commands. Well, one command I suppose because I've loaded in the image but now commands really because I took that one out um, and the difference is between the effects that's effect 2 it's just white and effect 1 if I um, undo that that's pink 
um, and obviously when you have something that's white when you change colors it changes it all perfectly to whatever color you've set but when you've got a, a color already it tends to stay that color and just alter it a bit so that makes a big difference to how it looks in IGK you know if I change that back to the uh, the pink one it looks pretty pink it's got some red in but the way it's white and really glowy on the other one it's pink on this one so you know, it looks alright but that's this has got a bit more life and dramaticness to it I wanted sort of spark effects and the white bits and that's what the it's got there sort of looks like it's sparking a bit so yeah particles you can do some nice effects you can see it doesn't take a lot just gotta have a play around with it some basic stuff, there's a few more commands um, to play around with but I thought that would do for a starter I mean obviously like I say you, there's um, where am I changing it there, the force that I'm just setting it down but if you wanted to you could add a, a, an X value uh, and you could give it some wind effect or something so it's, it's, you can see it's going across to the right now so you can play around, you can do some nice effects with particles, just don't expect super speeds if you go mad in a game, but you can see this is keeping up well and I'm recording as well, so pretty nice right, okay so until next time I'll catch you later